Hello. I wanted to kind of take a few minutes to show you where our future farm is going. And by future, I mean in a few weeks we should start having dirt going for the driveway and to level off for the building pads for the house and for the barn. So we'll have a nice long driveway, plenty wide enough for tractor trailers or equipment trailers, whatever to get in and out of here. We'll come in. As of right now, the way the plans are, that knob and this knob right here will kind of get flattened out a little bit, fill in, the house will go over here, kind of into the bank, we have a full eight foot, foundy, eight foot basement underneath the house, and be a nice little ranch house we're putting up a, about a 40 by 64 barn to start with and then in a year or two probably adding either 120 or 140 feet onto it but all of this land and then into the woods is gonna be home to full moon flock and stock all that goldenrod out there, those scrub trees. We're gonna run the pigs across the entire area. We'll put a perimeter fence in, in two phases. One up by the road and then around kind of into here. But then second one, we gotta clear woods. There's probably 10 acres of clearing to go. We're gonna try to go with the Jordan Green style silbo pasture in there. Um, some of the big trees are gonna stay. We'll kind of be selective. But we got a lot of ash in there. And we will cut the ash out. We'll have some people get it for firewood. We're not gonna be burning. But we're gonna create a nice pasture area to run the pigs through. We wanna be able to utilize as much of this property as possible. There is a swamp in here, but it's not as wet as it has been. And even this year, on the other side of that knob, I had a rented a Bobcat Trax mower last year. When I mowed that, there was standing water. I went through there today with our tractor and there was no standing water a little wet a little punky but nothing bad but we you can see we've already started clearing stuff this was a nasty mess it had been overgrown and not taken care of in a long time but let me take you into the woods a little bit over here up in this far corner kind of see what we're going to be dealing with and what a great home it's going to be for our pigs especially. The sheep and the beef cows won't find their way into there, I don't think. But the uh, the pigs will, will be, they'll love it. Here's some trees we've already been cutting. the path a few of these trees here are going to get cut out of here probably first thing so we can get in here better but our king cutter mower 
72 inch cut and we use that thing so much around here but this area in here we're going to trim out a lot of these ash and we're going to fence this in for the pigs it's wet down in here we'll give them an area to come up and get out of the wetness and let them have fun in here i have a feeling that they can really go to town and enjoy their life in here a lot of times this will be for our grower pigs i'm thinking but we'll see we're going to do pens and paddock areas and pastures to move them through here but there's a lot of work in here for these guys to do we're going to come in and do a lot beforehand um but it's definitely a lot of work to be done and we're up for it we got guys hunting in here there's a tree stand right up in here kind of hard for you to tell but yeah this is kind of an idea all of our woods kind of look like this right now and we're going to turn that into a nice pasture for the pigs to get into and we'll have fun doing it but this is a future home of full moon flock and stock and in a matter of weeks we're hoping that dirt work is started and hopefully by june of next year we are fully living here because we need to get out of where we're at now not enough room but enjoy the ride with us it's gonna be one heck of a journey to get this place from this into a fully functioning farm let me know if you have any questions comments hit the like button thanks